Hey guys, what is up? It's Super M here and welcome to day two of the GTA week here on my channel. And today, as you can probably see, we're playing GTA 2, the next installment in the GTA series right after GTA 1, for those of you who do not know how numbers work. And yes, as you can see, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> I mean, it looks exactly the same as GTA 1 and that is what a lot of the uh, oh what is happening with my screen right now it's doing some crazy flickerish action let me that ah, there it's gone now okay <laughs> uh, so yeah it was um, it was actually uh, I, I just want to put on my awesome ice cream van that I picked up for this uh, purpose of this video it was just going down the street I was like I gotta get that it's like my pizza bike from San Andreas anyway um, yeah, I'm actually playing today. Yesterday, I was actually had to borrow the gameplay from someone else, uh, and today I, I'm actually playing myself because my capture software finally picks this game up. All, all three of my capture software pick this game up, so that's that's a fantastic thing as well. Anyway, so all the uh, IGNs of the past, I guess, <laughs> of um, from 1999, uh, they all said. This game looks bad. It, I mean, it's a 2D game. It looks the graphics weren't improved at all, pretty much from uh, from GTA One. So that is why it got a lot of uh, bad reviews in terms of the graphic uh, graphical interface of this game. Uh, because 1999, for those of you that know, uh, was the era. Basically, that's when the 3D games started actually look good. So going back to a 2d art style wasn't the best choice for um for rockstar to probably do and i am stuck at it. <laughs> i'm trying to get into the the green mission i have no idea how to get there uh, i haven't played this game in forever and i am i think i'm being chased by the cops now no i'm not okay it's good it's all good someone in here is there yeah, just get out of the car, it might be easier to get there. Anyway, so in 1993, it was a 3D era of games where 3D games really started to be looking nice and be popular and stuff. So GTA 2 being still in the old school era, uh, as you can see, 2D top-down view is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty weird for the game. Anyway, this is how you pick up missions, of course, still... Still the same style, you pick up the mission from the given phone booth. And there's actually uh, three types of missions. There are uh, green, uh, like as you can see, these green mailboxes or phone boxes, phone booths are green. And that means these are the easiest missions to do. Then there's yellow, which are harder, and red, which are significantly harder to do compared to any of these missions. Uh, from the green boxes so <laughs> so yeah but they do reward you with more cash of course it's kind of logical as you can see ow I'm being shot now for unknown reasons I'm gonna take those pistols though thank you for that uh, as you can see right now um, there is what is known as I'm being shot I have no clue why known as um, Random street activities. Someone's getting mugged over there. I'm getting shot randomly for whatever freaking reason. And these are this. W this wasn't in GTA One. Okay, I have no. <laughs> just uh. Okay, well I died. I was looking at my notes, so I have no idea how I actually died. That that is that 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 is not good. That's that is very not good. So uh, yeah. Um, I actually have notes, I have four sticky notes full of notes about GTA 2, so that's always good. Let's pick up the next mission, and let's go ahead and do it. So yeah, um, I have no idea what I was talking about. Oh yeah, it's random stream events, so like someone's getting mugged, or someone gets hit by a car, uh, there's people walking around, you know, stealing stuff, uh, police chasing someone, it's all random events that was new and it was kind of, you know, revolutionary, that wasn't seen before for a game to do that so that's fantastic um, also there was a day and night uh, style to the game the night style of the game was um, supposed to look the fancy supposed to look fancy like 
as you can see right now. There's also a day mode to it, uh, which was less fancy, of course, and uh, kind of, I would say, a bit worse looking, because, I mean, it, it gets annoying, trust me, it gets annoying to be only at night, but day, I didn't really, I, I tried out the day, didn't really like it at all, so sticking with this right now, I'm probably going to get cops after me in like 5 seconds, so let's get out of the car, because I can't even actually get through here, with a car, uh, yeah, there we go, I got cops on me now, so that's fantastic, oh, here we go, car customization, uh, you can plant a bomb in the car, paint it, add guns, rims, whatever you want to the car, which is pretty cool, that was a pretty neat feature, you could customize your car like that, uh, and there's also, um, yeah, there's three gangs, um, I mean, there's three gangs as you can see on the street, and gang respect was a brand new thing, it wasn't shown before in any other game, like this respect feature, that was a pretty neat new thing, and it was actually really cool, and depending, as you, you saw, I was getting shot by one of the gangs uh, during the mission, because they were like, oh, you're doing mission for these guys, we don't like you, and as you can see, the Z, that is a gang that shows uh, that uh, they have their own car. And I was supposed to pick that guy up, or no, I was supposed to pick the thing up, right? Uh, move it swiftly. Okay. Watch the clock. Oh shit, I gotta go fast now. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna be able to focus on my notes, we're gonna die again, it's gonna be hor horrible and stuff. Uh, I don't even. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> oh, wait, it's right here. What am I supposed to do to this guy? Uh, oh, three people want to go. What? Get in, go, go, go. Oh god. Uh, I screwed up there. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, there's three. Uh, there's actually three districts to the city, and uh, each district has three gangs. And I believe one of the gangs. Why well, can't go through there? What the hell? And I believe that one of the gangs repeats. In every city, uh, in every district of the city, so there's actually seven gangs. And this is for those of you wondering which city this is. This isn't Liberty City. This isn't uh, Vice City. This isn't Sandras. This is a no no name city. They they, they just didn't bother to make <laughs> to make it based on any real city. And to actually, oh god, my car's on fire. We better go. So as you can see, I'm invisible now. So that's fantastic. Can I get a car? Maybe. No, I can't. Okay, we failed this mission, just to let you know. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this is a... And it's also it's supposed to be futuristic, as you can see, all the cars are looking weird. It's supposed to be futuristic. I don't... I, I can't say if this, is a, this, this was a good choice, but whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, so, next thing, uh, what else we have? Respect, new cool feature, as I said already. There's the, the ecosystem where people do their own stuff on the streets, they have their own AI instead of just walking around. Mini games! Uh, I have no idea how to get the fuck... Is there an exit here? Can I climb this? No, I can't. Uh, there's actually a mini game in this. Uh, there are mini games that, you know, basically started the mini game genre in GTA. For example, getting to a cab, you pull over on the curb and people start hopping into your car. And Or if bus, you can actually take a bus and people hop into your car. And can I leap this? I can, nice. Can't leap this though. Uh, so that's that's all neat. And you get money for it as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have on the list? Um, I cannot, oh. Save game, right! Uh, for those of you who do not know, GTA 1 did not have a save game feature. You had to sit down and beat each city in order to uh, to save and be able to restart from where you left off. So that was honestly the most annoying thing ever, probably. Uh, because you actually had to sit down and beat the entire city with one sitting. So that's why... Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. So that's why uh, I said, oh god, I'm getting shot by these guys now. That's uh, why I said that it took me like 60 hours to beat the bloody game. Because I had to keep restarting the entire bloody city every time. Anyway. Um, uh, car modifications. Um, this, uh, this also. Oh wait, why is my the car not exploded? I have no idea. Uh, okay, what, what? I'm so confused right now as to what I'm doing. Can't focus on reading and actually.
playing the game at the same time is too much for me, I'm sorry. I, I can't get that there? What? Okay. Keep walking. I have no... Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Get in. Just get in the bloody car. Get in the car! Go! There we go. Drive those guys over and just keep going. So, yeah. You would earn respect by killing other gang members from different gangs. But at the same time, lower your respect to that gang. And I want that car. I love this car. It's so small. Oh, God. It got an alarm. Shit. Go! Oh, bloody hell. Oh, God. Yeah. You actually collect money by killing people, hitting cars, which is... I am just making a giant circle, aren't I? Yes! I got stuck in some giant ass loop, so that's... It's amazing, there we go, just get the hell out of here. Get out of that district, don't like that district. Just keep driving around. Um... Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, save game feature was a pretty good addition to this game. You go into a church, you pay $50,000 to save your game and then you get to restart from the point you are in currently so that was a really helpful thing and I'm not gonna say I beat this game because I didn't I, I couldn't be bothered to beat this game uh, it's so weird and hard to play it nowadays um, so as you can see this is a very arcadey old school style you got a points multiplier and it got as you can see health which is and lives actually Lives. This game has lives. So if you die a certain amount of times, game over. You gotta start from the beginning. So yeah, that's very old school. Especially now, if you think of GTA, like oh you die, oh that's okay. You just spawn in a hospital. You lose uh, like a few blocks and you okay. Here you die. It's over. It's over. Your game. Your game is just done. You're not playing the game anymore. <laughs> so yeah, watch out for dying. Um, also, there's 11 radio stations in the game. Uh, wait, how the hell do you change radio stations? No, how do you change guns? How do you change radio stations? Is it... Oh, God, I forgot to change radio stations. Well, that's a problem. Anyway, <laughs> forget about that. But, uh, yeah, 11 radio stations. was a pretty neat feature. Uh, there's actually a f movie film for GTA 2, which is pretty random, right? I mean... Oh, yes! Got a nice road kill there. Uh, there was... It was a movie film. Let's have some fun with the flamethrower. Hey guys. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so there was an intro movie film for GTA One. It was a, a whole full like eight movie, eight minute movie, which was a pretty pretty neat thing. It was a uh, it was actually pretty nice. It wasn't in a futuristic feel like this was, like the game is actually. So that was a bit strange, honestly. But I mean, what can you do? Uh, but it was, you can, I, I mean, I'm sure you can see it on YouTube somewhere. So go check out the GTA intro, GTA 2 intro uh, movie, and you will be able to see it. Where are the cops? I'm waiting to get a shootout with the cops going, and they're not, just not showing up. For whatever reason. I just shoot all these people. Die, die, die. Okay, um, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about GTA. <laughs> GTA. Two, it's it's a pretty neat game. Once again, you can get it for free. Check in the description for the Rockstar Classics. Actually, I don't think they're doing it right now, but I'm sure in the future they will be doing the Rockstar Classic giveaway once again. So then you will be able to do your amazing, to play this amazing game if you want to. I mean, you can get it pretty much just Google GTA to download. It's legal right now. Rockstar don't give a crap if you download it from Pirate Bay or whatever because. They are giving us for free by themselves anyway, because it's a, a old game like that, and they like to do it like that. So yeah, make sure to tune in tomorrow for more week with GTA. And I don't know if you can guess which game we're gonna be have tomorrow. If you, are, by the way, if you collect all the GTA 2 stickers, you unlock a oh god, I got busted. You unlock a secret level, so that's fun. So anyway, make sure to tune in tomorrow for yes GTA 3. And then following that, we're probably going to do San Andreas, GTA 4, and the last day, uh, we'll do something special. So, hope you guys enjoyed my four sticky notes of notes about GTA 2. There was a shitload more to talk about, but I don't want to waste your entire time. You should probably just uh, check out the game for yourself. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be seeing you later. Super M! Signing out!
tried to crash into something, but there's literally no car. There we go. Signing out. Bye. Yeah. I just love this beat. Shoutouts to... Atomic Beats. Yeah.